ZX string is unlike any wheel that Bego had ever released before. Not because it's better designed, more powerful, or better built, but rather it's because that Bego for the very first time had actually listened. Which may not sound like much, but for years have been their primary weaknesses. And this week I'm going to ride it and tell you why I think this is the best electric unicycle Bego had ever released. Roll the intro. And subscribe if you enjoyed this video and help spread the uni gospel. First, a shout out to Bego for providing this demo extreme for review purposes. But as usual, Pini Express is strictly my own. I was honestly a little bit surprised when Bigo first reached out to offer to send me a wheel for review because for the longest time Bigo never really cared about outside opinions for good reason since Bigo was one of the founding company that really helped push the modern electric unicycle market and for a large part define what they have become they had always pushed for the very boundary of what is possible when it comes to performance even back when many thought that it was dangerous risky and irresponsible for them to do so. And that willingness to buck public opinion and chart their own path had both been a strength and a curse. For example, Bigo had decided to drop the mounting height of the battery pack on the EX30 in pursuit of greater stability to mixed reception. I ultimately think that they made the right choice, but not all agree. And that strategy only works if Bigo had been the sole supplier of high performance electric unicycle however with companies like veteran and even in motion now stepping on their turf when it comes to ultra high speed electric unicycle not so much anymore which brings us to the extreme the very first wheel that Bego had ever developed in collab with community feedback Though it is still based on their established suspension platform, fruit of that collaboration is evident in many places. That plus the legendary C40 motor which made a very deep impression when I first tried it, back when I demoed the EX30, still the fastest electric unicycle I have ever rode. But is that enough to make the Extreme the best Bego wheel ever? Well that brings us to my review and as usual I'm going to rate the Bego Extreme based on 5 different criteria and they are design, convenience, ride quality, performance, and value on a score of 1 to 5. Starting with design, which has never been Bigo's forte since, well, Bigo never really care about what their wheels look like. With their last three releases pretty much looking the same, but not so with the Extreme. First thing that jump out at you is color. The front and back CNC rail and headlights provide a distinctively angular profile that balance well against the similarly color rim. The rubbery padding that previously encased the entire controller had been pulled back to just cover the seating and the knee contact area. And more of the semi-clear controller casing is exposed to showcase the electronic within and the expanded display below. And all the padding are fastened mechanically instead of the cheap adhesive that Bigo loved so much before. They even included additional screw holes on the battery casing so that that you have the option to adjust the side pack, which are shaped to further reinforce the angular profile of the extreme.
also like the many smaller but thoughtful changes that Bigo had made, such as relocating the charge port and the buttons to the more protected area underneath the controller, a thin rubber padding that protects the battery casing front and back, even this strange tubular RBG backlight. The X-String is, in my opinion, Bigo's best looking and most thoughtfully designed wheel and gets a 4 out of 5 for design. And next we have convenience and even here Bigo had improved on their typical formula. The trolley handles are larger, beefier and well balanced and the headlights solid if a bit on the narrower side. But most importantly, this is likely the best weatherproof wheel that Bigo had ever produced. And although I would not recommend tossing it into a lake, I mean the thing is $3,000, why would you want to do that? You're probably fine riding it in the rain despite its lack of any formal IPX certification. The stock pad still does not accommodate any angle adjustment up front nor in the rear, but at least they're less floppy than before and does allow you to adjust them vertically. Plus, I do think that they look pretty nice, so I'll be sad to swap them out for better custom pads. The front handle is well positioned and very accessible even during rides and with practice could potentially be leveraged to help with braking. There is also a Bluetooth speaker built into this RGB tubular backlight and it's okay speaking from someone who usually prefer to keep a low profile whenever I ride. The kickstand is minimized in order to get it out of the way of any potential snag, a reasonable if slightly unpleasant compromise. I still prefer when the wheel has a slightly longer kickstand and allow to be kept more upright when it's parked. But what EU seeing Zuzis would likely appreciate the most is how accessible the Go Extreme is if you intend on doing your own maintenance. Everything is fastened with large, very visible and easy to reach bolts and it is one of the easier electric unicycle to take apart and reassemble. And although the Go Extreme lacks some of the quality of life feature like a better mudguard or a control screen, it still earns a 3.5 out of 5 for convenience for accommodating the many little things that enthusiasts would appreciate. Not a great score, however you have to understand that the Bigo X-String is laser focused on the actual act of riding. And it is here where it really shines, which bring us to ride qualities. something that has always been a little bit difficult for me to quantify since it depends on such a large range of factors. Frame rigidity, geometry, pedal height, balance power, firmware tuning, and even how your actual speed pad is set up. And here when something is off, it's not as obvious since eccentric or bad ride qualities can often be compensated once you fully acclimate to a wheel. My lovely Z10 is a perfect example of a wheel with poor riding dynamic that can still be fun to ride. On the other hand, a well-tuned wheel, at least for someone who rides a great very many electric unicycle, is usually immediately obvious. I had a hard time acclimating to the Extreme Bull Commander Mini and I had chalked it up to me having spent too much time riding veteran wheels like the Sherman S and the Patton. But for the extreme, that had not been the case. Didn't take me much time to get comfortable with its riding dynamic, nor to trust its excellent suspension. It is especially great off-road. I got comfortable on my first run and raised my speed almost immediately. The extreme felt well balanced, agile, responsive, and very predictable. I was able to tackle a particularly challenging climb on my first run instead of the second or third tries. I honestly did not expect another 16 inch suspension wheel to outperform the pattern, but I think the extreme somehow managed.
the suspension is another highlight the geometry after so many iterations over the past few years finally felt right and it's 130 millimeter travel a nice upgrade even from the patent suspension it still lacked the suppleness of the Sherman S and its hydraulic shocks but this is as close as Bigo had ever gotten and the best suspension they had ever built the extreme really raised the bar here and gets a 4.5 out of 5 for ride quality finally let's talk about performance there have been several high profile cutout on the demo extreme while I was making Making this video including a pretty bad one from Chooch. Keep in mind that you can cut out any wheel at any speed as long as you crank it hard enough so the question really isn't how fast but rather how hard the wheel was pushed. It is certainly concerning that there appears to be a very small gap between voltage alarm and the motor actually going soft. Let me remind you that to do so on a batch one wheel with untested firmware is extra risky. With that said the Extreme is the first of the 16 inch electric unicycle to carry the C40 motor which runs on 40 millimeter wide extra beefy magnet for additional torque. A motor that I first got to know on the EX30 which still remained the fastest row wheel I have ever rode. And its tremendous acceleration and power is now further magnified by the Extreme and its smaller 16 inch diameter wheel. And without a doubt it is blisteringly fast i do have to add that i had some difficulties accessing the extreme's full torque potential and it took this weird cobbled together setup for me to really crank it to its limit so experimentation and some custom speed pad are absolutely necessary if you want to really see what the extreme can do inch wheel stability at speed above 50 miles per hour is questionable and cruising at that kind of speed in anything less than ideal condition is not recommended The smaller 2400 watt hour battery packs also mean that you have a lot less margin to absorb voltage spikes from bumps hill climb are sudden lean angle changes. Instead, what the Xtreme excel at, even more so than the already incredible pattern, is its ability to get you to its maximum velocity in very little time and distance. I test drove a Tesla Model X and stomped on the acceleration and felt what true sub 3 second 0 to 60 actually feels like. And although intellectually I get that this is not as fast as that, whoa, with the asphalt rushing by and car rumbling all around you, this is every bit as exciting and terrifying as that experience. Furthermore, that incredible torque output coupled with the best 16 inch EUC suspension translate directly to the best off-road performance I had ever experienced of any wheel. Once again, edging out the performance of the formidable Pat. It tackled every single hill climb and every drop with confidence and I get the distinct impression that it will take me a lot more practice just to push this thing to its limit. The Bigo Extreme for once live up to its name. It is electric unicycle and all of its infinite promises pushed to its very technical limit. If you have the skill and the stomach to risk it all just to extract it and it earns a 4.5 out of 5 for performance. Finally let's talk about value. Despite the extremes vastly improved design, engineering and build quality, I still think that the veteran patent is a better build and likely more durable wheel. And unless you absolutely need that small 
margin of additional performance, the patent is still likely your better choice. That is until you consider its off-road prowess and improved suspension and longer travel, then the scale starts to tip a bit back in the extreme's favor. For anyone less than a diehard EUC enthusiast, the difference between these two wheels are likely small enough where you would not be sorry to go either way. And if you're one of the few elite riders who cares, then you probably already made up your mind about which of these wheels you will get. As the best wheel that Bego had ever released, and a vast improvement on all of its prior efforts, and for a thousand dollar less than its excellent prior release, the EX30, the Xtreme earns a 4 out of 5 for value. So what do you think? Is the Xtreme the 16 inch suspension EUC you have been waiting for, or is the V14 or the patent the better choice? Well, that is what the comment section below is for. <laughs> Once again, I ramble on too low and somehow managed to waste another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love electric unicycle, the only way for us to get better real is to grow as a community. So tell your friend, teach them how to ride and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you.